Not many day two picks have taken the NFL by storm quite like Russell Wilson. The 32-year-old All-Pro already led the Seattle Seahawks to a Super Bowl, but he wants more. Wilson is one of the most talented quarterbacks we've seen this century. So, how did he not get taken until the third round of the 2012 NFL Draft? First, help us reach 100k by subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell notification so you never miss an upload. Russell Wilson has had a very illustrious career. Wilson was recently named the Walter Payton Man of the Year and made his third straight Pro Bowl, eighth total in his career. This past season, Wilson passed for 4,212 yards and a career-high 40 touchdowns. The success came one year after he was named an All-Pro after passing for 4,110 yards and 31 touchdowns. Easily the most memorable Wilson season was in 2013, when he led the Seahawks to a Super Bowl victory, beating Peyton Manning in the Denver Broncos in the process. That was only his second season in the pros, by the way, coming one year after he was named the Pepsi Rookie of the Year. Coming out of Wisconsin, Wilson had two very big strengths, throwing ability and mobility. He was clearly talented, but for the most part, teams were thrown off by his size at 5'11", 204 pounds. The NFL world was against him before he even came into the league. Almost 10 years ago, there weren't many short quarterbacks dominating past Drew Brees. Wilson has completely changed the game today for shorter passers like Kyler Murray, but teams looked over Wilson for the same detrimental trait at the draft. Leading up to the 2012 NFL Draft, the league went into a frenzy called Suck for Luck, a movement centered around Stanford's Andrew Luck. Luck was considered one of the greatest quarterback prospects in the history of the draft before the Indianapolis Colts sucked enough to take him first overall. Luck started his pro career with three straight Pro Bowl appearances and was well on his way to superstardom. He passed for 4,761 yards and led the league with 40 touchdowns in 2014, but things started to go downhill after a shoulder injury in 2015. He dealt with a shoulder issue for the next three years, but came back strong in 2018. Luck made the Pro Bowl again and was named Comeback Player of the Year after throwing for 4,593 yards and 39 touchdowns. He was back on the uptrend, and Colts fans were optimistic mystic for 2019, but in the midst of a high ankle sprain issue, Luck delivered one of the most shocking modern day NFL moments, deciding to retire at the young age of 29. Luck was a stellar player on the field, but his lack of mobility and ultimately Indianapolis not surrounding him with an offensive line destroyed his career. Sticking with the trend of a team's mismanagement and injuries ruining a player's career, we sink down to the number two pick, where Washington selected Baylor's Robert Griffin III. RG3 came in and had one of the most electric rookie seasons of our lifetime. He led Washington to the playoffs after passing for 3,200 yards and 20 touchdowns en route to being named to the Pro Bowl and the Offensive Rookie of the Year. The future looked bright for the former Heisman Trophy winner, until it wasn't. In the playoffs, he suffered a knee injury, one that would haunt him for the rest of his career. RG3 returned to health in 2014 only to go down with a dislocated ankle. He returned later in the season to show some rookie year glimpses, but it just wasn't enough. Washington sat him for the entirety of 2015. RG3 had a one-year stint with the Cleveland Browns before being a free agent for all of 2017. Then, when it looked like his career could be over, RG3 signed with the Baltimore Ravens. He spent the last three years in Baltimore mentoring Lamar Jackson. RG3 showed a ton of promise early in his career, but injuries and the need for mobility in his game ruined it. Six picks after RG3, the Miami Dolphins took who they believed would be their future franchise quarterback, Texas A&M's Ryan Tannehill. Tannehill has certainly been the most successful quarterback taken ahead of Wilson in the past few years. Tannehill had some success in Miami, making the playoffs once. He passed for over 4,000 yards twice and over 20 touchdowns three times, but the Dolphins continued to struggle. The Adam Gase experiment was a disaster. I know, 
Shocker. And on top of that, Tannehill dealt with a torn ACL along the way. Ahead of the 2019 season, the Dolphins decided enough was enough and shipped Tannehill to the Tennessee Titans for a fourth round pick. As it turns out, Tannehill just needed to escape the wrath of Gase. Again, shocker. After taking the starting job from Marcus Mariota, Tannehill started the real. He went on to pass for 2,742 yards and 22 touchdowns in 10 games. The Texas native went on to lead the league with a 117.5 passer rating, make the Pro Bowl, and be named Comeback Player of the Year. He helped the Titans to an AFC Championship berth and in the offseason, earned a monster four-year, $118 million contract extension. Tannehill was the prime example of someone being put in the wrong spot. Both Luck and RG3 were put in bad spots too, but lucky for Tannehill, he was able to escape it and make a name for himself elsewhere. On to one of the most bizarre first-round draft picks in NFL history. At number 22, the Browns decided to take 28-year-old Brandon Whedon out of Oklahoma state. Yeah, Whedon didn't work out. Like, at all. His completion percentage managed to get worse in his second season, and Cleveland released him. That wasn't the end of his career, though. Whedon went on to have stints with the Dallas Cowboys, Houston Texans, and Tennessee Titans. He last saw the field for a single play in 2018, backing up Deshaun Watson. The Whedon situation is very odd. Why the Browns would take an already past his prime player in the first round of the draft makes no sense. But after all, that was the Browns. Only one quarterback came off the board in the second round, Arizona State's Brock Osweiler. Osweiler was selected with the number 57 pick by the Denver Broncos. He didn't start a single game over the first three years of his career, but actually played a huge role for the Broncos in 2015. Peyton Manning was dealing with injuries in what was ultimately his final season. In relief, Osweiler came in and managed to go 5-2, passing for 2,957 yards and 15 touchdowns. Manning ended up taking back over and bringing a Super Bowl championship to Denver. The brief starting job was good enough to land Osweiler a four-year, $72 million contract with the Houston Texans. A huge deal only for him to last a year in Houston. Osweiler wasn't the answer, and the Texans definitely knew that. They traded him and that ridiculous contract to the Browns, having to give up a second round pick in the deal. Houston had to give up the picks just to get that contract off the books. Osweiler went on to play for the Broncos again and Dolphins before he retired in 2019. He is one of the most interesting quarterbacks in recent memory. Everyone thought he was the answer for Houston, and at one point, he was a solid quarterback for Denver. Things just didn't work out for him. Say what you will about Osweiler, but the dude is a millionaire, has a Super Bowl ring, and retired at 29 years old. So who's really winning here? It took another 18 picks until Russell Wilson came off the board with the Seattle Seahawks taking the Wisconsin star. Wilson has ascended as one of the biggest stars in the NFL, and he isn't going anywhere anytime soon. His future is a bit unknown right now, but one thing is for sure, the five teams that missed on Wilson for another quarterback sure do regret it now. Thanks for watching. Again, help us reach 100K by subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell notification so you never miss an upload. We will be giving away an NFL jersey of your choice. To enter, all you need to do is make sure you're subscribed and have notifications on. Then follow us both on Instagram and post a screenshot of you subscribed on your story. Then just tag us both and you'll be entered to win an NFL jersey of your choice.